In addition to general principles of counseling and taking informed consent, discussion on MVA services should also include the following moments. Explain to the patient that MVA procedure usually does not take more than 15 minutes and it involves a cannula being inserted into her uterus through the cervix and the pregnancy being removed by a suction device. This may cause some cramps similar to menstrual period during the procedure and for some days afterwards. She may bleed slightly for up to two weeks. It is important at this stage to assess her level of anxiety and to respond to all her concerns and needs. If she chooses local anesthesia, she should be offered non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like 20 minutes before the procedure. If she is still anxious, benzodiazepines can be offered. General anesthesia is not routinely recommended for vacuum aspiration. Medication used for general anesthesia may cause life-threatening complications and, if still administered, specialized staff and equipment should be available. It is important to explain the risks and benefits of each method for pain control so that women can make her informed decision. The patient should be informed that the MVA is safe and that major complications are rare. The early in pregnancy, the risks are less. The complications which may happen are incomplete abortion or failure to end the pregnancy, severe bleeding requiring sometimes transfusion, cervical trauma, uterine perforation. If any of these rare complications occur, local protocol should be followed. There is a small risk of infection of the upper tract, genital tract infection, which is more associated with the pre-existing infection. You must offer antibiotic prophylaxis to all women having surgical abortion. If antibiotics are not available, vacuum aspiration should be performed anyway. For women with signs and symptoms of infection, a treatment with antibiotics should be initiated and the procedure can still be performed. Once the type of procedure and the pain control has been determined, written consent should be taken. If the woman chooses to continue her pregnancy, respect her decision and refer her to the antenatal care. Counseling for contraception is an important part of the pre-abortion counseling. The initial consultation is a good opportunity to discuss contraceptive options if the woman wishes it. She should be counseled that ovulation can return within two weeks of the procedure, which risks another pregnancy if she is not using an effective method. The combined oral contraceptive pills, progestin-only pills, progestin injection, monthly injectable contraceptive implant can be started on the day of abortion and for up to seven days afterwards, without any additional precautions. The corporal intrauterine device or levonorgestrel intrauterine system can be inserted at the same time at the procedure after the tissue inspection. 